All right, we're going to start round one, but before I do that, I actually made a quick change to the deck because uh, somebody ran a pretty interesting idea by me for the sideboard. And that is uh, Goblin Crater Maker instead of a Braid. Um, so we're going to try that because I think, in theory, it is going to be better than a Braid more often than not. So uh, I also cut the Grim Lava Mancer that I had because it's been underwhelming and I want to try out this uh, the uh, Crater Maker. So I'm putting three of them in, quite a bit, but I want to try it out. So anyway, everything else about the deck is as I just mentioned. So we're going to start round one here once I get matched up against an opponent. Here we go. Alright. JPA93. Well, that's one matchup. JPA93 usually plays Sneak and Show. That is one matchup where the Crater Maker should be better than a Braid. However, we shall see if it's enough. This hand is terrible. Unfortunately. I feel like this is going to be a difficult match. Okay. Uh, we need a land and discard, but this hand's reasonable, <clears throat> certainly reasonable. If we lead on Preordain, he might think we're on Sneak and Show, it's possible. So we're going to lead on Preordain. We're going to go Volcanic Preordain, we're looking for a discard and a land, okay there's the land. So we have to keep it. And we want a Thought Seize. <clears throat> we need, m probably need multiple discard. Interesting that he's using the pedal. I recorded with Sneak and Show the other day and I definitely didn't do that. And then I kind of regretted it. Fetch lamp might be just better than a pedal. Chooses to not shuffle. So, we're going to want to ponder and probably shuffle. Uh, ponder was pretty bad. Alternatively, maybe not. I don't want to play an underground C because I don't want him, I want him to be guessing what I'm playing. Um, but drawing in a land next turn is pretty bad. Whoops. What just happened? What did I, I can't remember what I put back. I guess it was those two lands, I hope. Yeah, it was a basic. Lee, can't remember. Oh, Dark Ritual. I did not mean to click that. I don't know how that happened. Tinking too long, I guess. The reason I want this bolt is if he had a City of Traders and he tried to draw 14, I could bolt him, maybe. So, the awkward situation, uh, I still think it was good not to because he could have just slammed a show and tell. But now I don't have a second black source, um, which is awkward because I have to Dark Ritual before casting Cabal Therapy. But <clears throat> we'll see. Forcible, I think, is the name. He's 
we've got a force fluster show and tell. Ay. Ay. We're dead. The jig is up and we're dead to the fluster storm. We just have to hope we didn't have a fluster storm. Um Yeah. There's just no way. <clears throat> I wonder if he just lets it resolve thinking he can beat it. He could not beat it. I mean, he could like brainstorm away something. Um, when I tried to therapy him again, and then I have to guess. Uh, I had have to guess, and if I missed, I can potentially beat the uh, the crystal brand, but it's unlikely. Not gonna beat it here though. All right, great, Goblin Creator Maker. Uh, gra uh, <laughs> All right, Goblin Creator Maker should be good in this matchup. Surgical is good in this matchup. Spell Pierce is good in this matchup. Tomb Stalker not very good. Groomag's a little better, but not great. And Young Pyromancer is not great. And we don't need bolts. So that's how we're going to sideboard. <clears throat> Hope it works out for us. We successfully kept him from casting show and tell on turn. Uh, was that his third turn? And then he had the fluster storm, so. Oh my goodness, this is just so good if I had a land. If any, if this or this or this, or lands, it would be such a great hand. Oh my goodness, and this hand's so bad. Okay, this hand's not good either, but. But we're gonna keep it. Rip 5-0 Dream. Guess we want these. Guess we want these. I don't have high hopes for the thoughts he's beating his seven his seven card hand. But it is possible. Okay, we can beat that. Hopefully his hand is super defensive. If he flusters, I will totally Dark Ritual. 100%. That was not his plan. Just hiding stuff. Fluster and Force of Will. Okay. It's possible. No, I don't think there was any other reasonable take there for us. Oh, actually, no, I was supposed to take the Force of Will. Whoops. I meant, I thought I took the Force of Will. Well, this, this match has been a complete disaster. 
Jeez. Uh, okay. So he has a forcible in his hand. We can beat this. We're gonna have to hit Crater Maker. So we have to go Dark Ritual, Preordain, and hit a Crater Maker. get a land out of our deck. Let's get there. Dark Ritual. <clears throat> Preordain. Come on, Crater Maker. Oh, man. Can we beat an Emrakul with Buried Alive? No, we have uh, Graf Digger's Cage in play. Oh, boy. So... We have to hit a crater maker. Oh man. Just the biggest bummer. That would have been so sweet. We'd have the mana to pay for it. For four, five, six, and we just don't have any way to win now. We had one more spell. We had one more spell we could have uh we could have sacked six dudes and had three lands in play and tried to draw a crater maker next turn. Really unfortunate. Where is it? Where is the crater maker? There it is. Oh man. Oh such a bummer. Alright, we'll be back for round two.